Hello, hi, I'm Punita here from Huawei Global Training Center and today we're going to discuss about the content E-Node B Transport Data Part 6. So let's look into the next command at interface. So this is the new model command which is the next command that is going to replace the VLAN map. So let's look into what is uh, add interface. We need to add the interface ID, the port type, and we need to bind it with a VLAN ID and a port ID. This port ID, we have to follow the UMPT port. So if you're using port ID 0, then it will be 0. If it's port ID 1, then it is 1. It will at least state the information of the cabinet subreddit subreg and etc and the interface type is VLAN. So let's see whether we have the new model in our base stations. So list interface. So in this configuration we don't have. Let's change switch to another side. So this one is actually a new model command. So if you're not using new model command, then we can use the VLAN map. So we don't have. So let's, instead of interface, we can also use the VLAN map. Because this one is actually the previous one. Yes, that is a VLAN map. So that means we are not using the new model. So VLAN map, next of IP, we have the VLAN ID. So basically, this is the difference between interface and VLAN map. So here, we are using the old model. So next, add IPv4 address. So this one is replacing the device IP command. So same thing, we need interface ID, the one that we configured earlier, bind with the logical IP. So this one is actually the logical IP. This logical IP can belongs to signaling IP, service IP, okay, or else OM channel and clock IP. So let's see whether we have this command or not at IP address form because this one belongs to the new model. So I'm going to see whether we have configured this or not. No. So we don't configure new model for this space station. It's only old model. So we also have a, a, a static IP now. So basically it's the same situation like earlier, just that the command has changed to at IP root form. So we need to have a root index, destination IP, and an XOP IP. So the concept, the parameters that we fill up is similar. Just the command has changed to IP root 4. So let's look into our site whether we have any IP root 4 for the new model. So I'm going to switch to another base station. I'm going to list the IP root 4. No, in this case, we are using old model. So next, we also have IPv6 configuration command. But for my base stations, we have not configured any IPv6. So this one is just for the knowledge transfer because some customers have already transformed to IPv6. So physical layer is the same, no difference. Data link layer, we have VLAN map and interface. So for this, we are using new model. Okay, we are no longer using old model. And for the device IP, we already switched to IP address 6 and IP root 6. So instead of 4 earlier, we are using 6. So this is an example at ETH port. It's the same for all old model and new model. is still the same, no difference. At interface is also the same, but this one is corresponding to the new model. And it is similar as your before. At IP address 6. So this is considered new logical IP similar to your device IP. So this is considered new model concept. So you can see that the IPv6 address has changed already. We have IPv6 address ID also. So these are considered something new. Interface ID is the same and we also have the prefix length command here. Static root command has changed even though the function is still the same. We have modified it to IP root 6. We have a root index. We have a destination of IPv6 uh, address prefix length. And we have the next hop IPv6 address as well. So the length has been, uh, has been increased already. But 
the functionality is still the same. Q&A session, a maximum of 10 device IP address can be configured of an Ethernet port. Yes or no? No, this is a wrong statement. So, the summary of the E node B transport data. I mean, here we have discussed about how to add an interface, how to add an IPv4 address, which is logical IP, static IP node. What is IPv6 configuration commands? How to add an Ethernet port? What is the difference with V4 and V6? So, the Ethernet port is the same. Interface is also the same for the new model. At IPv6 address is different but it's similar to logical IP like device IP and we have the static IP route for the V6 also the command has changed that's all for me hope you enjoyed the session thank you bye